Indianapolis Colts are so close to being a powerhouse in the NFL. The Indianapolis Colts are feeling new and excited for the 2023 season. Many things have changed from coaches to player personnel away from the 2022 season. Last year, the Indianapolis Colts ended their 2022 campaign with a 4-12-1 record, which if you remember back to preseason times, right? So before the 2022 season even started, there were a lot and lot of predictions that the Indianapolis Colts were going to be a dark horse for the Super Bowl. But adding players like Matt Ryan as their starting quarterback, it seemed as a huge, huge possibility that they would be taken very seriously. And of course, that was wrong. Now, with all the new stuff happening in Indianapolis, there will be good times and bad times for this upcoming season. We're going to talk about it. Some might find it surprising, but right now, Gardner Minshew is the main quarterback in Indianapolis. Not too crazy to think about. This might change when we know more about Anthony Richardson and if he is for ready to play week one. Minshew is probably doing better than the other three quarterbacks the Colts had last year. This is good for Richardson, who is next in line. Richardson might start later in the season, but maybe head coach Shane Steichen wants him to learn from Minshew, who has more experience. The Colts picked Richardson early in the 2023 draft at pick number four. They hope he will be their main quarterback for a long time to come, especially after the whole Andrew Luck debacle that we all know of. Considering how good Steichen has been with quarterbacks before, many are very curious to see how he'll work with Richardson. Richardson has this alluring effect that he is a hit or miss player. I highly disagree. I think he is a hit or hit type of player for today's game. His physical skills are not only the best among the quarterbacks this year, but maybe the best since Cam Newton in 2011. He managed to escape from tackles 39 times in 97 runs in his final season at Florida getting 713 yards. He also has one of the strongest arms out of all of the rookies that were drafted, and probably even the starting quarterbacks in the league. However, he often misses his targets, the easy ones, the layups. In the last two seasons, nearly 30% of his throws were too hard to catch, which is one of the highest rates in the country while at Florida. But with the direction football is going, taking a chance on him might be worth it. In terms of his arm power, size, and ability to run, Richardson is one of the best college football quarterbacks that PFF has ever recorded. Even though he needs to get better at throwing consistently, his running skills already make him an elite prospect. Richardson can make a game plan very flexible. Anthony Richardson literally has the ability to make any offensive coordinator's creativity widen. You can plan any running move for him and no pass will be too far for him to throw. If he's not playing, even as a second choice, it's a wasted opportunity. He must be playing in every single game. Everyone expects running back Jonathan Taylor to be the main runner again. After a tough 2022 campaign with an injury, he's set to come back stronger. Of course, we all know of the controversy with Jim Mersey saying we're not going to pay Jonathan Taylor too early. And then you also have Jonathan Taylor also letting the whole world know that he wants a deal done. We're just going to talk football, not necessarily talk about the contract situation. But Colts fans, let me know in the comments what you think about the whole debacle. What do you think about Jonathan Taylor being a young running back wanting money now? And what do you think about Jim Ursay simply saying no? Jonathan Taylor used to be one of the NFL's top runners. Still is in my book, but last season was a bit slow for him. Since 2019, the Colts have been known for their strong running game. A big reason for that, their offensive line. An elite one it was. They create space for runners like Taylor to charge through. In 2021, Taylor was a force. A force to be reckoned with, thanks to the strong blockers in front of him. He raced past defenses and shook off many wimpy tacklers. He was one of the best in the league, leading in yards and touchdowns. For 2023, they have a new fast quarterback named Anthony Richardson, and the coach, Shane Steichen, has a lot of smart running plays that use different running backs. While Taylor will get the bulk of the carries, he won't be the only one that Shane Steichen will be depending on. And so with that information, that's probably positive information that Colts fans would like to hear. Jonathan Taylor is great, but he's not the only piece. It's still a mystery how the blockers will do with running this year. But with Richardson's speed and adaptability and agility, teams will have to respect him. Last year, teams knew that Jonathan Taylor was the only threat on the ground. That if he was in the backfield, that he was getting the ball. So they send more players to stop him, of course. Matt Ryan wasn't moving for anybody. Now, Anthony Richardson now being set into place, Anthony Richardson alone can change all of that. He can help Taylor 
and the blockers be as good as they were in 2021. The Colts are aiming to do better in 2023, but Richardson leading the team and a new focus on the running game is going to help tremendously. Now, Michael Pittman Jr., who is a young star receiver that I think is very, very underrated, has been a hot topic lately about contract talks and being the top receiver for the Colts. Even with four quarterbacks over the past two seasons, he's managed to catch 187 passes for 2,007 yards and 10 touchdowns. That's not easy. And you know what? I'm so confident that Michael Pittman is going to take another step. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. And if you're interested in making money like I am this football season, head over to Price Picks and use code RFF and they will match any deposit up to $100. And I will be taking the Michael Pittman 799.5 yards over. He's done it two times already. No reason why he can't do it again. That's easy money. You're welcome in advance. Alec Pierce, the second year wide receiver out of Cincinnati, who I also really like, hasn't had a real chance to shine due to the constant quarterback tossing. But the Colts planning on more deep passes that could have him have that breakout year that we all believe he can. And then there's my favorite receiver that they have, the rookie Josh Downs from North Carolina, who caught 202 passes, got 2,483 yards and scored 22 touchdowns in just three years at college. Despite being only 5'9", he's a great pass catcher. And with Richardson's powerful arm throwing deep won't be an issue at all. Coach Steichen loves deep passes, which works well with Richardson's strength in that area. This means the Colts will be great at throwing long balls. Last year, talented players like Michael Pittman and Alex Pierce weren't used much for deep throws, maybe with simple play choices or quarterbacks not throwing that far. Not good enough, you know what I mean? This made it easy for teams to predict what the Colts were going to do. Alec Pierce shows talent of being able to catch deep passes just like Michael Pittman, both can challenge defenses. With a new focus on long throws, Indianapolis should have more big passing plays this year. Shane Steichen's game plan is all about being bold and innovative. He aims to surprise and outplay the defense unlike the Colts' predictable approach in 2022. This predictability was a big reason why former quarterback Matt Ryan struggled to find his groove, his rhythm. While other factors played a part, it was clear that Matt Ryan was often playing it too safe. But that will be the story for Richardson or even for Gardner Minshew in 2023. Steichen is set to shake things up with diverse play calls that keep opponents guessing. That's going to keep them on their toes. He'll craft his strategies around Richardson's strength, helping him settle in faster. Instead of playing it safe and maintaining a lead, Steichen's offense will be built for taking bold moves early on like deep throws and trick plays and then stacking on these big plays every single drive. Then, as the game progresses, they'll switch to a strong running game to wear down and break down the defense. I believe that Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor, and Michael Pittman Jr. have the legitimate possibility of being such a powerful force that the Indianapolis Colts fans can't stop but thinking about Peyton Manning, Edron James, and Marvin Harrison. These are the three pieces that the Indianapolis Colts have been dying for. I believe in the Colts, but do you? Let me know in the comments. I'd been hearing a lot of buzz about the Jacksonville Jaguars taking this new Super Bowl leap, that the Tennessee Titans are going to be back to where they were two years ago, and we're not even going to talk about the Texans. We all know they're going to be bad, but I believe in the Colts. Do you? Like, comment, subscribe.